Welcome back. We're going to continue learning about metacognition by talking about a strategy called think aloud. So think aloud seems a little bit strange at first because it involves you talking aloud, but it doesn't have to be in a normal speaking voice. It can be in a whisper, but what you need to remember is that thinking aloud is going to help you understand. It's going to help you organize your thoughts. So I'm going to use this book and this video to model a think aloud. You might use a think aloud when you're reading independently, especially if there's something that you're having a difficult time understanding and you've had to go back and reread. So let's get started. So I chose this book called How to Read a Book by Newberry medalist Kwame Alexander. And I chose this book for several reasons. One of the reasons I chose this book is because I think the illustrations are so appealing. And I think you'll notice that when we start looking further into the book. So one of the things we look at when we're choosing a book is the cover. So let's take a look at this cover. And some of the things that are going on in my head as I'm looking at it is that it has bright colors. Um, there are a lot to see in the picture. And I love that it's by this author, Kwame Alexander, because I've heard of him before and I've liked other things that he's written. So I'm going to use my post-it note and I'm going to add a note. Now you would normally be doing this with a paper post-it note and you would be writing using a pencil, but I'm going to do this using my computer. I'm going to type this because that's how it's best for you to see it. So I'm just going to add notes like bright colors. I'm going to say author, and I'm gonna put a question mark there because I wanna learn a little bit more about him. Um, and then I'm gonna see, I'm kind of thinking this book is probably encouraging people to read. So I'm gonna put that with a question mark as well because that's what I think this book is going to be about, but I'm not entirely certain. So I'm thinking aloud, I'm talking about what I, my thoughts are in my head, and I'm writing it down on a post-it note. You might not always do both, but one or the other should always be going on in your head. How to Read a Book by Kwame Alexander. This is the dedication page. There isn't a whole lot for me to say there, so I'm gonna move on. So this is the first page and it says, first, find a tree, a black tupelo or a dawn redwood will do and plant yourself. It's okay if you prefer a stoop like Langston Hughes. There is so much for me to think about on this page. I could probably spend 30 minutes just on this page because there's so much to see and so much to write. So first of all, when I'm looking at this page, I'm gonna look at vocabulary. So something like a black tupelo or a dawn redwood. Now I know that those are trees because the first line says, find a tree, but I wouldn't have known that without the context clues. And I might wanna find out a little bit more about those trees. So maybe I'll make a note. Uh oh, what happened to my post-it note? Let's flip that around. There we go. So I might wanna make a note of black tupelo and dawn redwood. And maybe I'll say trees. I'm pretty sure those are trees, but that might be something I want to look up later. Um, and I, I'm thinking about where it says plant yourself. I'm thinking that plant yourself probably means find a comfortable spot. Oops, a comfortable spot. So I'm thinking that there, he's telling us when you're going to read, find a spot where you're going to be comfortable and you wouldn't mind staying for a while. And then I guess I could keep going. So Langston Hughes, who is that? I just happen to know that Langston Hughes is a poet. So I'm gonna write that down. And I love that they say, if you prefer a stoop, but I think he's just trying to say that anywhere that I wanna read is great, as long as I am comfortable. So I'm gonna make a note of that. Uh-oh, there's that word again, comfortable. 
because I think that's going to be important. I think that's probably one of the main themes of this book. All right, so there's my note, and I'm going to move on. We'll do one more page together, and then I'm going to have you do the rest of this book as a finishing finish up to this part of the task. So the next page says, once you're comfy, peel its gentle skin like you would a clementine, the color of sunrise. I love this imagery. I love how he's telling us, he's comparing reading or turning the pages to peeling an orange, peeling a clementine. But I wonder why he decided to compare it to that. Peel its gentle skin. So I'm gonna put that in there. Why the words peel its gentle skin? Because I think maybe that's something I should think about a little bit more. Peel its gentle skin. I feel like he's saying that a book is precious, that it should be taken care of, that you should savor every moment. So I'm curious about that, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. Notice that I'm not writing everything that I'm saying because some of this is just me thinking out loud. And I love that he included the color of sunrise in there, something that's pleasant, something that makes people feel happy. So he's trying to incorporate or he's trying to compare reading to something that is comfortable, something that makes people happy. And I love that. So I'm going to put that in there. He's comparing reading to a happy experience. So I'm thinking the purpose of this book is to show people that reading can be awesome. So I'm not going to do the next page. You're going to move on to this page on your own. But I wanted to give you an idea of first what thinking aloud looks like and sounds like. And then second, how you can record some of those thoughts using post-it notes, by typing, by using a page in your notebook. Whatever makes you comfortable is fine. So remember, normally all of this is going on in your head, but we want to think about what's going on in our minds. We want to use that metacognition to make sure we understand what we're reading and become better readers and learners.